back in the uh, air chambers here. So, what's that? I missed a second one. Yes, I wasn't here last month. I'd like to begin our meeting by recognizing the First Nations, Métis, and Inuit peoples of Canada as traditional stewards and caretakers of the land. We acknowledge that Clearview Township is located within the boundaries of Treaty 18, the traditional lands of the Anishinaabe, Haudenosaunee, Tionatani, Wendat, and is the home of many First Nations, Métis, and Inuit peoples as part of the intricate nationhood that reaches across Turtle Island. At this time of truth and reconciliation, we welcome the opportunity to work together towards new understandings and new relationships and ask for guidance in all we do. First and foremost, last month's minutes. Is there any issues, queries, problems with last month's minutes? None? Can I get a motion to accept last month's minutes? All in favor? Carried. Looking at this month's agenda do any committee members have an interest arising out of any items on the list in pecuniary interests seeing none excellent the committee of adjustment today will consider minor variances and consents applications scheduled under public hearings the planning act requires that the public hearing be held before the committee of adjustment decides whether or not to pass a consent or a minor variance the public hearing serves two purposes. First, to present to the Committee of Adjustment and the public the details and background to the application. And second, to receive comments from the public and agencies before a decision is made. For each application, Madam Secretary, to my right, your left, will summarize the proposal and correspondence on file. Planning Division staff over here, to my left, your right, will provide any other information that is relevant to the application. From there, the applicant will be provided the opportunity to speak, make a presentation, followed by questions or presentations from the public, either in favor or against the proposal. Committee members will then have the opportunity to question the applicant, the secretary, treasurer, the planner, or anyone given presentations. The application will then be considered by the committee. Madam Secretary, over to you. Thank you, Chair. Uh, notice for these consent and variance applications were posted on the subject properties on or before May 28, 2024, being at least 14 days prior to the hearing. Notice of these applications were also sent by mail to the assessed owners within 60 meters of the subject properties. Notice was also circulated for the applications to those persons, departments, and agencies likely to have an interest in the applications as legislated. Included with each notice was a legal description of the subject property and a description of the purpose of the proposed consent or variances. The circulations were provided in accordance with the provisions of the Planning Act RSO 1990 Chapter P13. Screaming right along with consent file 24-B05 located on Fairgrounds Road. Madam Secretary, would you read all the pertinent details? Thank you, Chair. Consent file 24B05 concerns lands municipally known as 1457 Fairgrounds Road South and legally described as lot 21 on concession four. The purpose and effect of the application is to sever one agricultural lot. The proposed severed parcel is approximately 290 meters of frontage on Fairgrounds Road South and approximately 40 hectares of area consisting of existing agricultural buildings and a dwelling. The proposed Retained lot is approximately 290 meters of frontage on 2122 Side Road, Nottawasaga, and approximately 40 hectares of area consisting of an existing dwelling. Circulation of the application was mailed on May 28, 2024, to the applicant, appropriate agencies, and property owners within 60 meters. Comments were received from the Nottawasaga Valley Conservation Authority, the Township of Clearview Public Works Department, the Township of Clearview Building Department, Ministry of Transportation and Enbridge Gas having no concern or ob objection to the application. The staff recommendation is that the Committee of Adjustment of the Township of Clearview hereby approves consent 24B05 pertaining to the lands at 1457 Fairgrounds Road South, subject to the following conditions. One, that the applicant meets all the requirements, financial and otherwise, of the municipality, included, including servicing bylaw charges and payment of the fee of $150 for each certificate of consent or cancellation to be issued. 
Two, that the applicant provides a description of the land which may be registered under the requirements of the Registry Act or Land Titles Act as applicable. And three, that the mortgage on the property be discharged from any of the severed lands, 1457 Fairgrounds Road South, and that the solicitor provide an undertaking in writing that this condition will be fulfilled if required. Thank you, Madam Secretary. The planning department on this file was Rosslyn. Do you have anything to add more than what we currently have before us today? Uh, thank you, Chair. Uh, no, I do not. I'm here for questions, though, if you have any. Awesome. I'm going to assume, sir, you are the representative for Mr. Beattie and Sons. Test. Thank you, Mr. Chair. I am Andrew Pascuzo. I am a registered professional planner here on to, today on behalf of the Beatties. Uh, they are obviously in attendance here. We're here to answer any questions. I will be brief. Um, obviously, they have been involved in farming in the community for many years. Uh, in terms of the consent application, I feel like it's fairly simple. Uh, proposing large agricultural lots, which conform with uh, the official plan and the zoning bylaw. Uh, there's no changes proposed to the uses on the property. Uh, they're going to continue along with the agricultural use. Both the severed and retained lots have an existing house on them currently. Uh, both the severed and retained lots will comply with the provisions of the agricultural zone, so there's no need to go to council for a zoning bylaw amendment. I'm not aware of any concerns that have been presented uh, to staff or this committee. It doesn't appear that there's anybody here currently to speak uh, in objection, but there may be somebody virtually that I'm not aware of. I understand that staff is recommending approval. I've read through the conditions and they are standard. We don't have any concerns. We do believe that um, a new boundary survey will, like a physical new R plan will not be required after speaking with uh, the solicitor, they've advised that the lots uh, can be described as north north and south parts of the lot. Um, so I'm asking, I'm here today asking for support from the committee and asking for you to approve the consent and, and obviously here to answer any questions if there is any. Thank you very much. Thank you, good sir. Is there any questions from the members of the committee to anyone on this file? Seeing none, anyone want to make a motion as written to accept said consent file. All in favor? Carried, good sir. It was a simple file. You were correct. All right. Thank you for your participation in today's meeting. Enjoy your day. File number two, minor variance 24-A11. On County Road 7, Madam Secretary, if you could fill us in on the lovely details. Thank you. Uh, minor variance file 24A11 concerns lands municipally known as 1698 County Road 7 and legally described as east part of lot 30 on concession 1, being part 1 on registered plan 51R38661. The purpose of the application is to request approval for relief from section 2.5.2A of zoning bylaw 0654 as amended, which states that a detached accessory dwelling unit shall be located no further than 50 meters from the primary dwelling. The applicant is proposing to locate the deta detached accessory dwelling unit 137 meters from the primary dwelling. The total variance being requested is 87 meters. The effect of the application is to allow for the construction of a detached accessory dwelling unit on the subject lands. Circulation of the application was mailed on May 28, 2024 to the applicant, appropriate agencies, and property owners within 60 meters. Comments were received from the Township of Clearview Public Works Department and the Ministry of Transportation, having no concern or objection to the application. Comments were also received from the Clearview Building Department and the Nottawasaga Valley Conservation Authority, stating that permits will be required. These comments are outlined in the staff report within the agenda package. Comments were also received from the County of Simcoe after the agenda package were, was published. The comments from the County of Simcoe read as follows. 
Thank you for circulating the above note at minor variance application for review. The County of Simcoe Transportation and Engineering Department has no objection to the approval of the application and provides the following comments. The County of Simcoe Entrance Bylaw number 5544 regulates the construction, alteration, or change in the use of any private or public entranceway, gate, or other structure or facility that permits access to a county road. The County of Simcoe has no record of an entrance permit being issued for the existing entrance from this property onto County Road 7. If the property owner cannot produce a valid permit, this entrance would be considered legal nonconforming. The County is requesting that the owner apply for an entrance permit in the interest of updating the status of this entrance. The staff recommendation is that the Committee of Adjustment of the Township of Clearview hereby approves minor variance 24A11 pertaining to lands at 1698 County Road 7 Clearview on the basis that it meets the four tests in accordance with the Planning Act subject to the following conditions. One, that the applicant acknowledges and accepts the minor variance application 24A11 limits the ability for the existing dwelling located on the subject lands to be rendered surplus as the result of a farm consolidation. The applicant agrees that should the property be subject to a farm consolidation application, the detached accessory dwelling unit may need to be removed or relocated on the subject lands. And two, that if a valid entrance permit for the subject lands cannot be produced, the owner agrees to apply to obtain an entrance permit in accordance with the County of Simcoe memo dated June 7th, 2024 to the satisfaction of the County of Simcoe. Thank you, Madam Secretary. The community planner on this was Nick. Do you have anything to add to what we already have before us? What'd you do? All right, that side now. Let's move sides. Um, thank you, Nick. I apparently pushed the wrong button there. Is there anyone from the Allen family to speak on this file today? Come on up to the podium. Okay, but but we may we may have questions. <laughs> we may. Unfortunately, I don't think so. I don't think so. I'm not the I'm not the uh, de facto answer, but I'm going to go with I don't think so. Right? Okay. Um, do you have anything to add in this minor variance request that we don't already have? I was going to say, because at 137 meters, you aren't liking whoever's staying there, right? Like, it, it's quite the hike. <laughs> Are there any questions from committee members to anyone on this file today? Seeing none, do we have a motion to accept the recommendation as provided? All in favor? Carried. There is a 21-20-20 day appeal period before which Danielle here becomes your favorite person. And we'll, we'll walk you through the rest of the process. I thank you for taking part in today's public meeting.
Our third file for the day, 24-A12, located on County Road 9, Madam Secretary. Thank you, Chair. Um, minor variance file 24A12 concerns lands municipally known as 5273 County Road 9 and legally described as concession for plan 116 part block B. The purpose of the application is to request approval for relief from section 3.20.2RI of zoning bylaw 06-54 as amended, which speaks to the maximum ratio of residential to commercial and states no more than 25% of the ground floor area shall be used for residential use. The Total variance being requested, oh, sorry, the applicant is proposing to use 30% of the ground floor area for residential use. The total variance being requested is 5% increase in the permitted ratio of residential to commercial use. The effect of the application is to allow for an accessory apartment within a portion of the existing commercial building on the subject lands. Circulation of the application was mailed on May 28, 2024 to the applicant, appropriate agencies, and property owners within 60 meters. Comments were received from Township of Clearview Public Works Department, the Township of Clearview Building Department, and the Ministry of Transportation, having no concern or objection to the application. Comments were also received from the Nottosaga Valley Conservation Authority, indicating that a permit will be required. Comments were also received from the County of Simcoe after the agenda package was published. The comments from the County of Simcoe read as follows. Thank you for circulating the above noted minor variance application for review. The County of Simcoe Transportation and Engineering Department has no objection to the approval of the application and provides the following comments. The County of Simcoe Entrance Bylaw number 5544 regulates the construction, alteration, or change in use of any private or public entranceway, gate, or other structure or facility that permits access to a county road. The County of Simcoe has no record on an entrance permit being issued for the existing entrance from this property onto County Road 9. If the property owner cannot produce a valid permit, this entrance would be considered legal nonconforming. The county is requesting that the owner apply for an entrance permit in the interest of updating the status of this entrance. The staff recommendation is that the Committee of Adjustment of the Township of Clearview hereby approves minor variance 24A12 pertaining to lands at 5273 County Road 9 on the basis that it meets the four tests in accordance with the Planning Act subject to the following condition. That if a valid entrance permit for the subject lands cannot be produced, the owner agrees to apply to obtain an entrance permit in accordance with the County of Simcoe memo dated June 7th, 2024 to the satisfaction of the County of Simcoe. Thank you, Madam Secretary. The community planner on this file, Mr. Nick. In Nick, is there anything you have to add? Uh, thank you, Chair. Uh, not too much to the report, but similar to the uh, previous um, application, uh, just the inclusion of the additional condition that was received. Fall are the comments received following the publishing, um, and that's why the condition has been included and will be reflected in the decision as well. Excellent. Is there anyone here for Bronze for Gold Holdings, Inc., sir? That would be you. Welcome to Clearview Township meeting. Do you have anything to add? All right. Are there any questions from committee members on this file? Yes, sir. I'm just wondering, there's no second story in any of that building? No. You're content, sir? Yep. All right. If there are no further questions, oh, yes, sir. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. My question would be to Nick. Um, the property currently is legal non-conforming, so is this just housekeeping on behalf of the county, um, and is there a cost uh, with this application for a building permit to do their housekeeping? Uh, is that in terms of the entrance component? Yes. Uh, yeah, so it is more housekeeping. So there are a number of situations where the county, there'll be entrances that have been installed, and they may not have a record, depending on the date. Um, as the previous owner indicated, it could have been 100 years ago or so 
Um, in terms of the fee, I believe it's a hundred dollar fee, um, typically for residential farm. I have to confirm for the commercial, but that's the approximate fee um, that they would do to recognize the existing entrance. So, so they have a record of it onto their roadway. So there, there's no trigger for it. It's just me, merely in terms of the condition specifying that they agree to apply that to it for the permit. Um, and then be up to the, uh, the County of Simcoe to issue that permit for them, but there'd be no impact to their actual building permit application. So that's a hundred dollar county fee. Correct. Yes. So my question to this committee would be how could we forego the hundred dollars? And if it's a county issue. My understanding is that it is currently non conforming. Legal non conforming. Legal non conforming. Yes. And if he can't find one and he doesn't write a letter, then it doesn't change anything that we are currently doing. If he does write a letter and can't provide one, then it clears up their housekeeping. And if he can't and wishes to pay them $100, then he does. Okay. Really, it's on the applicant at this point, I believe. I know. It just, it's been there 100 years. Do you have anything to add to that question? You haven't been able to find anything? <laughs> so really, it's just $100. Yeah. I know. I've been through it myself. We see these, we see these conditions from county come up occasionally where their housekeeping if the if the property was bought 100 years ago it never made it electronically into their current file system um so they just asked for people to clean them their files up for them for a tune of a hundred dollars yeah i'm not sure i'd agree but yeah that's what they're doing right I'm sympathetic to uh, to the hundred dollars just on principle, and it's not just properties that are hundred years old because my building was 1977 and I was required to do exactly the same thing. I'm not sure we have to go back a hundred years to find. I, so, <laughs> so. I'm happy to support the motion, but unfortunately, I'm probably going to have to ask you to pay the, or we're going to have to ask you to pay that hundred dollars. Is there any support to make a motion to accept the? Motion as written. Yes. All in favor? Carried. There's a 20-day appeal period, after which Danielle over here will be your best friend to carry you through the rest of the process. Thank you, good Very sir. Good. Thank you. Good luck. Last but not least, an unusual file. It's a validation of title file 24-B06. Madam Secretary. Thank you, Chair. Consent file 24-B06 concerns lands municipally known as 9915 County Road 9, 793081 County Road 124, and east part of lot 3, concession 12, formerly Nottawasaga. The intent of the application is to recognize that there are two existing parcels of land, which currently have three assessment roll numbers, two separate PIN numbers, two different legal descriptions, and two different municipal addresses. The two parcels have to be validated and recognized so that Keith Butler of Keith Butler Law can update title land title on the lands. The validation certificate is not correcting a merger. It is validating the conveyances that have taken place starting in 1969 in order to bring title forward to its present ownership status today. The request for a validation certificate will validate the legal title of the parcels to describe them as individual and separately conveyable parcels of land as they existed and were legally described in the past. No comments were received as the Planning Act does not require notice to be circulated. The staff recommendation is that the Committee of Adjustment of the Township of Clearview hereby approves the issuance of validation of certificate pertaining to both lands municipally known as 9915 County Road 9 and the lands with the same pin known as East Part of Lot 3 Concession 12, formerly Nottawasaga. 
and 793081 County Road 124 on the basis that it conforms to the prescribed criteria outlined in Section 57, 6 of the Planning Act RSO 1990, CP 13, subject to no conditions. Awesome. Does anyone have any objection to validating this certificate for this per pertinent property? Seeing none. The applicant is online. All right. Does the applicant wish to say anything, sir? To be completely correct, Mr. Chairman, members of the committee, I am solicitor for the applicant, Keith Bolter. I'm, I'm more than happy to answer any questions. All right. My understanding is we're back to where we were. If there's no objection to validating this certificate on this property, show of hands, vote. Unanimously. We unanimously validate this certificate, Madam Secretary. Sir, you, your certificate has been validated. With many thanks, Chairman. I thank you for participating in the public portion of our meeting, sir. Have a great day. You do the same yourself. And thank you all. This concludes the public portion of our meeting. Um, under, is there any new business?